The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, uh, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Rhymal Edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 92 6648 Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're here, aren't we? Yes, uh, lightning strikes and uh, who knows? That's right. Ah, welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world. That's right, to recover our natural health, our rights, and our freedoms. Good morning. I'm Paige Clark. And I'm Nico DeHaan. It's a beautiful day in downtown St. Petersburg. Well, kind of beautiful. It's beautiful if you like lightning and uh, <laughs> thunderstorms and lightning that just struck. Thunder and lightning. Yeah, and you can see it here on my phone. It's all flashing and everything like that. So. But, uh, you know, it's uh, just made the drive a little bit more uh, difficult, but uh, we made oh, we're it. here. Yeah, that's for sure. Hey, make sure you subscribe to our Health Signals newsletter. This is news you can use twice a month in your inbox, and it's all, it kind of follows our show outline, articles that we think will be useful for you and your family to stay healthy. Yeah, articles that we already discussed, and uh, one about antibiotics on this one, so a really good issue there. And also, please pick up our Primal Edge, uh, our one-shot wonder, over 310 organic cell-ready ingredients. Uh, it's a liquid ingredient, easy to take. Uh, brings the good stuff into your cells and, and the bad stuff out. That's right, and it's only eighty nine dollars uh, if you subscribe on a monthly basis. And of course, the newsletters are ten dollars. Uh, that's five dollars an issue. Comes out on the first and the fifteenth of every single month. And if you're up and at it, give us a call at 877-927-6648. So today I'd like to start off talking about salt. Uh, the and salt the, of life. The salt of life. And, Truly. Uh, of course, uh, we're, yeah, it is. And uh, we hear lots of things about salt, good and bad. So I thought we'd kind of just talk about our take on it and why sal salt is so revered uh, across the world. Right. And there is an untold uh, truth about salt. And we'll see how... Well, this writer gets it, okay. you know. Uh, we always have to wonder with our sources, but, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see where it goes because salt is everywhere. And actually today, you know, you can taste it in the foods. I am very much a salt lover. I like the salty flavor. I do too. I am a salt. It helps uh, break down the food. Uh, you know, when I put a little extra salt on my meat, uh, I can feel it breaking down easier. So according to the FDA, if you follow the FDA. Americans eat on average 3,400 milligrams of sodium, a chemical element found in salt, so that's each and every about, day. Uh, maybe 100 pounds, something like that? Is it that much? Wow. Well, the concern is salt consumption has gotten out of control, but in fact, folks, I think what really has gotten out of control is our use of a chemicalized version of so-called salt, the man-made, highly heated salt that yeah. is not the true salt. Yeah, it's not the true salt because uh, it's really been uh, butcherized in a sense because of the high heat, uh, the chemicals they use to extract it, they bleach it, do all kinds of things to it. Uh, luckily, there's lots of other salt around that we can tap into. Well, in highly processed foods, they're using yeah. these inexpensive salts yeah, they are. for that very reason. And they're very inexpensive. And I think that's inexpensive. the biggest problem we have. You know, yeah. every, it's in everything. Uh, every fast food has it because it does enhance the taste. We have a, uh, we are drawn to it, let's say. We're drawn to the salty taste. I mean, you put a block of salt salt out in the woods and the animals love it too. Right. Well, but the salt that we're using in our in our Franken foods mm -hmm. is not the salt that we're meant to eat, like I said. Yeah. And it's two chemicals instead of the 98 minerals that are actually in salt. Right. And uh, it is very inexpensive and used through the food supply because of that reason, but it wasn't always this way. And that's where we want to go with this. Okay. Yeah, salt has been around for thousands of years. And according to Real Salt, probably you've heard of that brand, which is a, a full, true, multi-mineral mm -hmm. salt. Yep. Uh, people actually traded salt at the same uh, ounce per ounce with gold. Yeah, that's course, gold in those days were, uh, was a lot less, but uh, in relative to everything else, gold is still the standard that we judge many things by. So right. if uh, salt is as valuable as gold, and I believe it is, 
it's something that we should be uh, really concerned about whether we're eating the right stuff or not, I think. Yeah, I mean, there were actually wars fought over salt, mm -hmm. and it inspired a lively black market through Europe and Asia. Um, and how did this valuable product actually become so mass-produced as a cheap counterfeit is what I would actually call it that we that we use uh, that is actually not healthful and not the same thing but I think you would be surprised to learn some of the lesser known facts about salt and here you go most bacteria can't live in high levels of salt yeah, so it was used as a preservative yeah especially in climates uh, that aren't too cold or too hot if you if it's too hot people tend to dry the fish and the meat and hang, right. it, hang it out if it's too if it's very very cold of course you have your natural refrigeration you know it's so funny i was visiting mm -hmm. family up in connecticut and i thought it was so strange but it made sense uh, you know, they just opened their sliding glass doors, a big pile of snow, and they had a bunch of food and drinks out sure. in the snow. Sure. So an extension. Nature's yeah, ex cooler. Right, an extension of the refrigeration. Right. That's for sure. And um, but there's modern food science is telling us a different story. You know, the salt will actually draw out the moisture, as you mentioned, right. for this preservation, and it will kill most microbes. But <clears throat> the salt lever salt level that actually prevents most bacteria from growing, it's actually very high. So 10% or higher is what's needed to kill bacteria. Yeah, and that's why when uh, we preserved food in salt, we used a lot of it. Yeah, exactly. Good yeah. point. Yeah, we want to do it. I mean, we want to make sure that if we're using it as a preservative, yeah, that, that it's yeah, at the high they, enough level. They use a comparison here. It's, uh, there's a lot of salt by comparison. Seawater is just 3.5% salt, and a piece of beef jerky is 2.2% salt. This means that salt can be used in conjunction with other preservatives like uh, smoking salmon, things like uh -huh. that. So uh, it's not just used by itself, but it's also used. And remember that we discovered that the salt itself is a type of, uh, it creates a bacteria in the food that helps preserve it and ferments it. Right. So now we have a food that's even more valuable because it's added, uh, it's kind of digested for us partly, so it helps with our digestion. But that's absolutely it, true. Yeah. We need salt. True pink salt or healthy salts or mm -hmm. gray salts or the salts that have all the minerals. We need those yeah. to and create stomach acid. Yeah. And we, the, don't, we can't make stomach acid. Hydrochloric acid right. comes from the chloride. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say, but the salt is so important to us that, uh, like we said, it was, it was so valuable, and now it seems like it's a cheaper product, except for some of those uh, brands that we really like, the, like the Himalayan. Those are getting more expensive and because they're probably rare. Oh, and, they're and, the true salts. And also, they're in areas of uh, the world that are harder to get. Right. And uh, you have to keep these things clean. And the reason they're so good is like the Himalayan salt and the, the Celtic or Celtic salt that we talk about are in these deep ancient beds that have been preserved under rock. Mm -hmm. So they don't have they're the modern... They're mineral rich. They're mineral rich and they don't mm -hmm. have the pollutants in them. Right. So we open them up and... Well, that's we're going to continue we this talk about the salt of life. And we're going to take a short break. Make sure to pick up our Health Signals newsletter and get some Primal Edge while you're on the break. And we'll be right back. The After this short break. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of living a primal lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And welcome back. Yep, we're talking about salt. And, you know, really, actually, another important thing about salt is without salt, we would actually die. And that is very true. Every single cell in our body contains salt in the form of ions. And these charged particles become the electricity that powers our cells to perform whatever essential function they're designed to do. Yeah, so like converting nutrients into energy. Uh, because our bodies are continually losing salt when we sweat or use the restroom, we need to replenish the supply of salts through our diet constantly. And although uh, dietitians and so forth might warn us against consuming too much salt, that's really because most of them are referring to the toxic, man-made, highly heated, two-chemical salt. Table salt. Table salt, which is not the salt that we actually need. In fact, if your body's sodium levels fall below normal, you can die from hypoatremia, which is actually a low level of sodium, natural sodium, in the blood. I've often yeah. shared with our listeners that Chinese medicine, the solution to high blood pressure in Chinese medicine is to eat more sodium yes. in the form of celery. Yeah, and I have six my, stalks of celery. Yeah, my uh, uh, physical therapist uh, always has had trouble with her uh, stomach and not being able to digest fats and proteins. She and, probably doesn't eat any salt. Uh, and uh, she uh, has had in the last year an Asian uh, or Oriental uh, practitioner uh -huh. that comes to her for therapy, and he started advising her. She started eating the Himalayan salt, and now she can eat much more. It took about three months. Well, it, it goes back to what process. we said in the other thing. I've been saying that for years. Yes. Hydrochloric acid, we yes. have to be able to digest and disinfect our food, and we must have salt in the diet. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very good. I'm uh, glad to hear she's doing better. Yeah, and yeah. it's a nice process, uh, and uh, I think some of it has to do with stress, too, and that's leaving, so that always helps, too. We might need salt for our bodies to function, but the reason we love it is because everything tastes better. It does. That certainly does, and uh, that's why the uh, manufacturers put it into the uh, fast food and all these TV dinners that we used to get and things like that, just to make it taste better. And, and remember, we're, we've been on this kick for uh, quite a few years of the low-fat kick. And when you remove fat, which is another thing that enhances food, you have to you have to go to the salt because it's the only other thing. Yeah, the salts and sugars are kind of thrown in to make up for what the yes. flavor that was yeah, lost. Yeah, and the sugar, of course, too. This is interesting. Fine Cooking, a magazine, interviewed the scientists at the Monell Chemical Census Center in Philadelphia. And they learned that our brains aren't actually able to detect flavors. Uh, um, 
they can't detect most flavorful compounds mm -hmm. until we add salt to the mix. And then all of a sudden, our taste receptors are, can identify the flavors that we can't sense without it. Yeah, when used in low concentrations, the sodium ions target bitter flavors and reduce the brain's ability to perceive them, increasing the sweet, the sour, or the uh, other types umami. of flavors. Mm -hmm. Umami flavors. So adding a pinch of salt to a cookie re recipe would actually make the cookie taste sweeter. Right, just like when uh, Italians tell you when you're making a spaghetti sauce, mm -hmm. put a dash of sugar in it. That's right. So And it cuts the acid, too. Right, that yeah. will cut the acid. That's very interesting. Yeah. And how about, you know, we've known that some of the cities, uh, such as New York, led the charge for restricting salt use. Well, again, let's, let's put this in perspective. We should not be restricting our use of healthy salt. We should be restricting our use of processed foods and thereby restricting the use of the yeah. toxic man-made heated to 1500 degrees. Yeah, and then what we're trying to do is really get rid of the salt in the, in the, uh, the chains of, uh, of these uh, fast food companies. Mm -hmm. It's, I think, the wrong way of doing it. I think we have to just have a conscious uh, way of dealing with food, and we have to serve And the, the consciousness is if we don't eat these highly processed foods, we won't be getting this bad kind of salt. Yeah, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And that, so that gets us to the point. There are different kinds of salt. And, uh, you know, this article says, but one isn't healthier than another, but we'll die... Go back to that yeah. same point. If it's a natural, full, fully mineralized salt, like the ones we see in the picture, those have different colors. You get the black salts, gray salts, and pink salts. It notes what the mineral content is, too. It sure does. Uh, the uh, mineral mixes can vary depending on where it is harvested and when it is harvested, and the mm -hmm. various methods of pr uh, producing the salt, too. According to the tasting table, the variety of sea salt is almost endless because you can produce uh, sea salt anywhere there's salt water. Well, truly, some people collect salts, uh, mm -hmm. like they collect fine wine. That's from true. Around the country. That's true. One of the things with the salt water uh, problem is, of course, a lot of our oceans are polluted. Uh -huh. They have different minerals in them that we don't want in our body. So maybe uh, the modern sea salt is not what you want. Maybe you have to go to those ancient beds. And that's kind of, I remember in the 80s, kind of switching over, always buying the sea salt and then saying, you yeah, know. We're swimming in this stuff, we're peeing in this stuff, we're throwing chemicals and fertilizers in this stuff. Maybe this isn't a good idea, and that's when I kind of made a switch over to and investigating really the Himalayan salts and the Celtic salts and those types of things. And, you know, I, I'm going to say what I've been doing personally, you know, Himalayan salt is got the red color from the iron oxide. Well, mm -hmm. I do believe as we get a little older, uh, iron may be an issue for some of us, particularly women, because we no longer menstruate. Mm -hmm. So I like some of the gray salts, too. Mm -hmm. I like to shake it up a little bit. Yeah. And what about the iodine, iodine content in it, uh, like uh, well, the we're Himalayan? Gonna get, we're going to get to that point. Okay. Really, most of these salts are not the best sources of iodine. Right. You know. Um, and the reason we put iodine into the uh, mix of our regular table salt years ago was because we were doing a lot of atomic testing and things like that, and that's the story that I heard. Yeah, we were doing put, atomic testing, and it was uh, radiating the thyroid, right. and so we were iodine deficient, and yeah. so a lot of the soil areas still have that lack of iodine, that's a point that I want to make is that much of our soil, that's the point of the primal edge, the soils are demineralized. That's right. So we're not getting these crucial nutrients. Right. And I would say the salt water is too, and that was my point on that. That's a very good point, Nico. So the table salt that we were talking about uh, was it, added iodine, which could have made us smarter. And there's been quite a few studies on this showing that there is a growth rate that was they say perhaps not natural in the last 100 to 150 years because of the iodine they put in there. I always question the quality of the iodine. Is that the same garbage that you know they're using in the salt uh, not being that no, good? No, it's not a good source of iodine. I'm sorry, yeah. um, because that's not a reason to buy the little Morton Girl salt. No, yeah, I agree. No, there's other places to get our iodine. Much richer place would be sea vegetables or grass-fed milk. Mm -hmm. You know, from cows that yeah. eat the grass that right. are getting it. But um, I really want to go over this. Uh, let's see what this article says. Unlike sea salts that are made by evaporated seawater, table salt is a processed product, as I mentioned. 1,600 degrees, two chemicals, sodium chloride, and um, they add uh, non-caking um, additives to keep it yeah, flowing, so, yeah. flow agents. Yeah. And so they're not really good for it. Uh, it also has another special ingredient, iodine. They do add the iodine because it was very efficient in helping to correct the signs of goiter, especially in certain Midwestern states that 
were having gorder issues. Mm -hmm. However, that's not enough iodine. That's not a body sufficient amount of iodine. Mm -hmm. 150 micrograms is not sufficient for all of the organs and glands that need iodine. Okay. Uh -huh. So, and the last thing here is the number one thing for salt isn't for food, and here we have the guy spraying it on the roads, and of course that doesn't happen this time of year, but boy, I remember the corrosiveness of the salt. Uh, you'd really On the have cars. To, huh? On the cars and everything like that. I'm, I'm just wondering how dispensing this type of salt is that healthy for us. I, I don't really know. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, you really <clears throat> do know that that's, again, probably a salt that's highly chemical chemicalized. Yeah. Oh, sure, and who sure. cares if it's on the road, I guess. Uh -huh. Anyway, stick around, folks. We'll be right back. Uh, we're going to switch over to doing uh, some talking about sunscreen when we get back. to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balance results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So it's summertime. Are you confused about sunscreens? Let's uh, share some information that might be helpful. Um, when we smear on sunscreen, dermatologist Kanaid Shinkai with the University of California says most of us don't think about getting what's getting underneath our skin. Yeah, I think there's assumption that these things that we apply on our skin, they don't really get into our bloodstream. 
Well, I say they do. Yeah, and I I, so. I, my philosophy is if you wouldn't eat it, you shouldn't put it on your skin. Yeah, that's for sure. And it was it's a good one because uh, we do know that our skin absorbs. And uh, It's actually it's, the best way of uh, um, applying medicine, transdermal. Yeah, that's right. Hormones are applied transdermal. Right. They get right into and the bloodstream. And more and more we're getting into uh, the type of science fiction that the uh, Enterprise and Star Trek used to have with a, you know, no needle, just going right through the skin and no problem. Well, all so television like Star Trek and all that, mm -hmm. the future, that was actually, um, that's actually disclosure. They're actually telling us what they're doing already mm -hmm. or going to do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But that's interesting. Um, but earlier this year, the Food and Drug Administration raised some concerns about chemicals commonly found in sunscreen. Well, welcome to the world of what natural people have already yeah. been doing. The FDA noted that only two of the 16 active ingredients commonly used in the commercial sunscreens, the mineral blocks, the zinc oxide, and titanium dioxide, are generally recognized as safe and effective. So that just goes to show you, look at what he says, <laughs> only two. Of the 16 active ingredients, the sunblock zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are generally recognized safe. And quite frankly, I'll tell you, titanium dioxide is not really recommended as safe in the my book. The zinc is the easy. The zinc yeah. is the one that is. Yeah. That is a mineral, that is a physical block, actually. Yeah, that's, a, that's the best and, block there is. And so in, studying published, in a study published in May, the FDA scientists found that four active ingredients found in commercial sunscreens, avobenzone, oxybenzone, octocrylene, and a camsule were systematically absorbed into user skins and they've been found in breast milk, urine, and blood plasma. And the high absorption rate of these ingredients means we need to study their potential toxicity. These are chemicals, folks. These are like soy and machine I, oil. I and I just get just blown away stuff. when I watch parents slathering sunscreen on their kids' bodies as if they think they're doing a good thing. Sorry, guys, go buy him a sun shirt, get him a hat, make him sit under an umbrella or, you know, enough time in the sun. Um, or use a zinc oxide or a physical sunscreen. Physical sunscreens are becoming bigger and bigger. Uh, clothing manufacturers are highlighting these. Mm -hmm. I think they're a really nice option because then you don't have to worry about these chemicals, which a lot of them are not even listening. They're perfumes and things to make them, uh, I don't know what, really, to tell you the truth. Yeah, folks, these chemical soups that these companies are making are profit driven and not proven to be safe and uh, here's some things if you're nervous about sunscreen ingredients as i am I, i'll i'll take a burn versus putting some of these chemicals on my skin honestly i really but um you know here are you can avoid some of the more questionable ingredients which basically means most all the sunscreen you would buy at a traditional store your grocery store or your drug store they're almost all toxic. They all have these oxybenzone and all of these chemicals in them. So yeah. you want to avoid them. You really need to seek out the brands that are approved by the Environmental Working Group or, you know, Remember the old days? Uh, remember your natural in the food 50s store. and 60s, a lot of people were using just uh, baby lotion uh, with some iodine in it. Baby oil and iodine. Yeah. And iodine is a natural antioxidants so it protects the skin yeah so yeah. this is so uh, what the crazy people were doing on the beach back in the 50s was actually something really good probably and we can probably better. use today exactly baby oil n no, not bad chemicals in baby oil I use I, I make my own I don't well baby oil is a mineral oil so mm -hmm. it's a petroleum based product yeah. I prefer to use jojoba wax okay. jojoba isn't looks like an oil everyone thinks it's jojoba oil but it's actually a skin wax like what's on our actual skin hmm. so I make my own with jojoba and my own aloe, and I add astaxanthin, which is the red colored. Mm -hmm. And I really think that might have been part of the ingredient that they use in that band of soleil tan that had that orange yeah. jelly. And well, everyone unless used they were that. using iodine, but that's more expensive, of course. So. No, iodine's pretty cheap, mm -hmm. so, um, but it wasn't ex the exact color. It okay. always had this uncharacteristically red color and I'm curious I, you yeah. know I'm, I have to check it I out. have refrained from using any kind of sunscreens for uh, probably uh, maybe a decade or two I don't really recall when I stopped using it I just uh, uh, have cut my exposure at certain times of the day mm -hmm. uh, to you know the 15 20 minutes something like that because uh, the Sun certainly does feel good but well I think I, I really believe that the Clothing is a great solution because I think the key is yeah. we're not getting enough sun. We need to be out in the yeah, sun, but we have to protect them. Yeah. yeah, we weren't designed. We were designed to be outdoors. And what I've learned from Jack Cruz is the importance of being out in morning sun. This is the day that I have to miss my routine, but 
Well, sunrise. Blame, blame the rain. No. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't have worked today anyways. <laughs> sunrise, seeing the sunrise in the early morning actually prepares our skin to handle getting the heat of the day sun. Yeah, so we get the UVA in the morning so that we can tolerate the UVB and tan and do less damage. And those kind of rituals, you know, going and watching a sunrise or a sunset, these are things that human beings have been doing uh, for millennia. And if you go down to Key West or we go to like the farthest point west in the United States or the farthest point east of the United States, you'll find there's little rituals going on where people are, uh, you know, waking up to the sun or going to sleep or uh, having a little party at sunset. Mm -hmm. These things are intrinsic in us and it's a very important part of the day because this is the last part of that beautiful light that we get. Mm -hmm. And uh, sunrise and sunset is where we're getting these really rays that are really good for us. Well, the rays that we're getting in the morning and, and in the evening are in the infrared range. Mm -hmm. So they have real healing abilities, but they're also the light spectrum that stimulates our neurotransmitters. Mm -hmm. So we know that if we, if we miss the morning sunlight, we are not getting the proper stimulation for dopamine, mm -hmm. the happy hormone. Right, so this, uh, this hinders our sleep later on. Well, the dopamine is our happy one, but right. we're, it's the melatonin. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, people think of melatonin as a sleep hormone, but we actually stimulate the melatonin. The, the, the circadian rhythm is such a clock mm -hmm. that the morning sun <clears throat> says to our body, in roughly 12 hours, it's time to start thinking about making melatonin. Mm -hmm. So if we don't get that morning exposure, if we get in our car and we drive directly to our office and we're indoors in an office and we don't come out, uh, we eat lunch at our desk and then we, you know, get off at five o'clock and we get in the car with our, you know, Wi-Fi in our car and we don't, and we're in a glass car with no natural sunlight, we're not getting our inoculation of the sun's timetable and it's crucial yeah this is one of the me reasons this is why we don't <clears throat> grow out grow jaws <coughs> excuse me mm -hmm. this is why we are having chronic disease because we are not in sync with nature we certainly are not and it's and it's and it's a struggle but getting back to the sunscreen um folks i'm going to recommend that you consult with the environmental working group to find brands that are uh, more healthy for you. Again, I'm going to make the recommendation if you see any of those questionable ingredients, put them down. And you're not going to find these brands, healthy brands, at Walmart, <clears throat> Walgreens, etc. You're just not. They, they buy, you know, they're buying the ones from the big companies. And they're less expensive, and that's why people buy them there. That's for right. Sure. So, and you can make your own. There's very, plenty of recipes on, uh, and I'll try to find a couple of good recipes that I can throw in with this article. In yeah, the, you can uh, buy zinc oxide and make your own, that's yeah. for sure. That's for sure. Just so stick around, folks. we got a lot more. In fact, talking about the, uh, the, uh, the what were we talking about? No, we're talking about the sunscreen, but we'll find, we'll find something good for you yeah, when we get back I, from I this just, break. I just lost my thought, but uh, <laughs> I'll have it. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South 
African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And welcome back. I knew there was an article that would relate it to this, and we were talking about the sunscreen and the infrared. Yeah, what we were talking about is the full spectrum lights, right. important. Yeah. And infrared is one of the spectrums. Yeah, so here Under Armour is, has a recovery sheet set now. For I've your been, bed. Yeah, and I think this stuff has been around uh, before. Yeah, Robbie Bessner, our friend who's been on here, he's yeah. got products that have infrared embedded in it. Yeah, and I remember years ago there was a company, Jisuro, that was selling uh, some uh, type of vitamin drink, and they also had this blanket that was uh, from this type of thing that uh, had the infrared. Of course, I use infrared uh, in my sauna. I have, a, a, I have a couple of uh, pads that we use for it, so mm -hmm. I'm really big into this, and this is just another way to help you recover, and, you know, doing exercise uh, is great. We need to do that. But, but we need to do recovery. We need to do recovery, and too. And because we are not outdoors like our primal right. man was, we need infrared light, which is found in the morning and in the evening, because it's touted as one of the best ways to give your muscles the rejuvenation they need, and not only yeah. does it penetrate the tissues, the joints, and the muscles and alleviate minor aches and pains. It also speeds up recovery time, Nico, yeah. uh, by penetrating through your skin to warm you at your core. And um, so Under Armour has released it. So here's a big brand name. So th they will do well with this, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. And uh, mm -hmm. they've got a lot of recovery gear to themselves. And this kind of is what we're talking about is that Mother Nature has pretty much most of the answers for us. We have the cold. We have the heat from the sun. We have the cold in the morning dew. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, that far infrared uh, light that comes in the morning and the afternoon. So nature really has its. And because we're living in buildings and because we have uh, you know, we're slaves to our jobs to exist and all these things that we have to do, we have to come up with artificial ways of doing this. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad this technology is here. I still just want to emphasize that nature is probably a better way of doing it, but there's nothing wrong with supplementing it this way either. Exactly. I prefer to get it out in nature, but it has yeah. this work. It's because the mineral-aligned fabric used in the recovery sheet reflects the infrared light back onto your body. In doing this, you're able to amp up your self-care while you're off the clock. Again, why do we have to have so many tech tools? Just Why does everyone have to have the latest gadget? I'm a little bit overblown with all this. Well, I mean, I, like I hate to say it, Stephen, you know, biohacking and all this. I mean, I, I get it, but why can't we just because you know, man has always done that. You know, we walked for a long time. We, we always think we can figure out a better mousetrap. Mouse well, we did. Huh? We figured out riding a horse was a little bit better, and uh, later on the wheel, and now we have cars, and a uh, man in his car is kind of like the man in his horse of years mm -hmm. ago. And uh, we're definitely, we love these things. I love my truck. I mean, you Yeah, know, you I, are a toy guy. Yeah, yeah you are. I, You're a gadget guy. Yeah, I love gadgets. You I even just, have Alexa in your house. 
Oh. Yeah, I do, but uh, we always have it unplugged uh, unless we want to listen to some music. So we're paranoid about that. I but. told you guys, I mean, I told you about that time that we were debating yeah. kitchen remodeling. <laughs> and I mean, I don't have Alexa. I mean, I'm like super. I would. I, well, I, you, were, I spent, you were on Facebook or something. I right? spent $1,500 repairing my refrigerator because I don't want to have to buy a new one that has all the spyware oh, yeah. in it, okay? Um, because we You're have a built in. It would have yeah. been. Yeah. But, but I'm sitting there. We're talking about the kitchen. And I'm saying, oh, I'd rather take a trip. And everyone who knows me knows I'd rather take a trip than renovate my kitchen. Okay. So we're sitting there talking, and all of a sudden, I get all these videos saying, here, visit us for a remodeled kitchen. And, and here, try here for cabinets. Need cabinets? We do kitchen. It was amazing how the ads were targeted. <laughs> yeah. They heard us verbally. Yeah. They're listening. Yeah. Now, someone goes, oh, there's not people sitting around. It's AI, well, it's artificial intelligence well, that actually, recognizes the voices. The Apple did a study and they had people listening to the commands and what people were actually saying oh. and to parse out the ones that were interesting, the ones aren't. So, the ones yeah. that they can sell to their marketers. Right. Or to their advertisers. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, both goes on. I mean, yes, it is kind of ambient uh, catching, but uh, they have identified the certain words and certain phrases, and it's funny. Uh, that's what they do. All right, let's go, how does this work? We're getting back to these bed sheets, okay? okay? Here's another biohacking thing for those of you guys that have to have the latest and greatest. What's the fastest thing in the universe? It's light. light. And the fastest way to recover, it's also through light. That's why you see so many athletes using red light therapy, et cetera, and infrared light, to be exact, because... Um, it says, Under Armour developed an advanced sleep system that helps your body rebuild itself through faster muscle recovery while you rest. Okay. And as we said, the print on the inside of the recovery sheet, and I'm going to show you, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. It, how does it compare? You actually see tiny little threadings, uh, mineral-rich threads in the sheets, embedded in the sheets. And that's what gives off the far infrared light. Actually, what it's re doing is reflecting your body's heat back to you. Well, now, we also have sheets that have um, EMF protection embedded in them yeah. now. So the question is, which one do you want? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> put one on Maybe top put of one the other. and one on top of the other. We'll have to ask one of our, our experts on that. How many sheets do you have? You know, so if you want to really biohack your workout recovery, maybe you need to buy one of these armor all she armor under armor sheets. Yeah. So uh, the two uh, the sheet two way stretch construction provides just the amount of flexibility for perfect comfort. The recovery sheet set comes with a mattress grip silicone band on the fitted sheet for a one of a kind non slip fit. No snag stretch. A top bottom indicator tab on a fitted sheet for zero hassle and concealed zipper enclosure on the pillowcases for. The perfect fit. How about that for a commercial? <laughs> right. Under Honor doesn't measure thread count for their sheets because it doesn't work with their advanced technology. Instead, they take the premium fabrics used to make high thread count sheets and engineer them in a mesh of greater breathability. This way, you get more intense ventilation from a unique constructed, high quality material that can't be compared to standard thread counts. Well, there you go. So it might be worth giving it a try. So get rid of your uh, Egyptian cotton sheets. I don't know. Those are pretty comfortable. You know what? I love finishing up our show with uh, some of these little things. They have a little bullet, you know, what mm -hmm. they can remember. So let's go to this uh, section on lemons, uh, evidence-based health benefits. Um, you know, when we talk about biohacking, getting all this technology, sometimes we want to come back to what can we do really simple that gives us a big bang for our buck. And there is nothing better than the, than the lovely lemon in terms of... Um, helping us. We we're talking about flavor, how salt, you know, is used to enhance any flavor, whether it be sweet or sour. And we know that the lemon is tart, and, and that's kind of a delicious flavor for us. But really, did we realize that science, there's powerful medicine in the lemon, and in all flavors. Ayurvedic medicine has taught us that it's the key five flavors, salty, spicy, mm -hmm. bitter, sweet, and sour that really are key to health. And the lime, too, I would think, be yeah. in this category. In fact, I, I'm more drawn to the lime than, than the lemon, and I'm not sure why. But I remember in the old days, back in the 90s, when my dad was still alive, uh, I would go over to his house on Sunday afternoon, and he would make these uh, great rum and lime. He had a lemon-lime tree. I love limeade, yeah. Yeah, he had a lemon-lime tree. It was half and half, each fruit. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, it was very cool. And he oh, would, yeah. He would squeeze that, and then he'd get some really nice uh, rum to it, and we'd have a daiquiri. And uh, it was always fond memories of my father and I sipping daiquiris on Sunday afternoon. For sure. So uh, 
And that comes to mind that alcohol, too, was used as an elixir, as a medicine. Oh, I told you I'm going to bring that book one of your shows. Oh, okay. You know, Drink Yourself to Health. Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of the book. <laughs> but, but it's about alcoholic beverages yeah, that are that actually good okay. for our health. Yeah. So we'll come back and give you some uh, tips on, on, on uh, lemons, evidence-based healing properties uh, revealed on the next segment. So we'll be right we'll back. Be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one mark timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Think or Swim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. And welcome back. And just like salt has many good qualities to it, so does lemon, and this is something I our love ancestors you, lemon. Use. So here's some of the evidence based healing properties that lemons have. Number one, it can lower your blood pressure. And simply by smelling this fruit, it has been found to lower blood pressure. That's correct. Mm -hmm. It is actually the essential oil of bergamot, actually, huh. that is uh, used as a blood pressure lower. And it can lessen constipation. Who knew? In combination with rosemary and peppermint essential oil, the smell of lemon has been found to relieve constipation in the elderly. Yeah, it also can remedy bad breath in combination with uh, tea, uh, tea tree and peppermint essential oils. Yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, it can reduce esophageal cancer risk. Lemon, like all citrus fruits, Fruits contain physiologically significant levels of flavoins, and flavoin intake has been found to be inversely associated with cancer. And also, is it good for uh, oral yeast infections like candida, uh, HIV, yeah, mm -hmm. HIV, AIDS, even? Wow. Can help with that. It can uh, help to dissolve kidney stones. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Well, again, because it's acidic. The acid, yeah, mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. It can reduce inflammation, and that's a really important thing. Uh, any uh, anything that can 
uh, take away inflammation is all And the all lemon is a heart protector. And we know that anytime you have antioxidants and the power of vitamin C, uh, many people believe that the cardiovascular tree is, is cleansed and protected through um, vitamin C. Yeah, it can also uh, protect against cholera. Uh, the pathogen that causes cholera is uh, reduced. And the other thing I like people to realize is that having that lemon a day is probably a great way um, to protect the oxidation of your cholesterol. Remember, cholesterol is not the bad guy, right. and the LDL is not the lousy cholesterol. No. You want LDL. You need yeah, your hormones the shuffled big, around. Especially puffy ones. No. Yeah, you just yeah. wanted to stay puffy, yeah. and you do that by having a little squeeze of lemon. So you know that idea why you're having your coffee, and I have to remember to do this sometimes because I really just want to have my coffee in the morning, um, is to make a lemon juice shot, you know, and you can put different things in it, but at least get the lemon. Yeah, also can water. lift your mood and reduce anxiety. And that was also bergamot. Bergamot um, essential oil is used to lift the spirit. And the last thing is it can help you maintain an ideal weight. <laughs> Excuse me, weight. Yep and help prevent insulin resistance. I yep. guess that's our show, guys. Yeah, well, thanks we'll a lot for sticking around. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy. Pick up some prior lines and uh, get my newsletter, please. See ya. Bye-bye.